Well, New York City workers are cleaning up after a water main break in Queens turned a street into a muddy lake and left some cars almost completely submerged under the water. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager live in Oakland Gardens with the very latest. Stacy. Well, hi, Dave. You know, it was certainly a messy afternoon out here in Queens, but the important thing is no one was injured here. Take a look behind me. You can see where the road just gave way from all the water pressure. This is 210th Street, Oakland Gardens, where this started as a really nice day, but it turned into a soggy mess. It was a race to contain the damage here on 210th Street in Oakland Gardens today, where the street buckled near 67th Avenue from a water main break. And several blocks here in Queens ended up underwater. Several cars, too. The owner of one of the cars, who says she parked here last night, just assessing the damage and counting blessings. I'm lucky to be alive, that's all. This is so bad for us. For resident Wang Yisheng, two feet of water in his basement. And that's the least of his problems today. But the, the bigger problem I mean, is my boiler and the, the water heater. There's, they're flooded out. Yeah, but right now my wife is sick. She got a lung cancer. This is the problem. No heater, no hot water this time. He had the sandbags to contain it and a rake to clear out the muck. The city's Department of Environmental Protection poking around to locate the drain caps, which eventually did the trick, but not before a whole lot of residents waded through the mess or had to detour around it. So we got trails all over the place, but uh, I guess today uh, it's white water rafting. Oh, white water rafting. We're back here live now on 210th Street. Once again, looking at the buckled road from all the water pressure. Crews about to start jackhammering to try to get to the problem. We have crews from DEP here, Con Ed, National Grid throughout the day, still trying to deter determine which main it was and what the situation was. But the important news, no one was hurt.